in this episode, <laughs> we go to SeaWorld, we go to Disney Springs, I changed the trajectory of my entire weight loss plan, <laughs> and our apartment kind of implodes. Oh, the drama. But did I lose any weight? Stay tuned to the end. <laughs> There's always good stuff at the end. is that it's always changing and there's always opportunity and hope like every day we just have to be strong enough to resist the pull of the darker stuff you know the depression and the anxiety and those kind of things and rise up above it we have the strength within us I know that we do I've seen it in myself I see it in other people I know that we do it really does come down to a choice and some days we just are so weak we don't feel like we can make the choice and that's when we are very blessed if we have people around us that we can reach out to I'm very blessed in that never give up never give up never surrender Galaxy Quest one of my favorite movies <laughs> Nine seventeen, so we're out the door a little bit earlier today than we were for Epcot, but I think it's hotter today than it was for Epcot. <laughs> and my abs hurt from yesterday's workout. But let's go to SeaWorld. <laughs> Here we go. It is Sunday, August 6th. I have been doing this life transformation thing for four weeks now. And the inevitable day <laughs> where I went back up weight has happened. I'm up, I don't know, one point something pounds, almost two pounds. And I have one word for that, pizza. It was a great lunch. We had a great time. We laughed. Um, we got free appetizers because I think they burnt our first pizza <laughs> and it took a really long time. So the manager came out and brought us free ravioli treat. I think it was, it was deep fried ravioli. I'd never had that before. That's what I needed was to learn how much I like deep fried ravioli. Hard line in the sand today and no more. Okay. Here's the deal. I've been doing this for four weeks now. This is week five getting started. I've been doing this for four weeks and I needed those four weeks because dieting and life and changing everything is very difficult. Hey baby. Video. Video. She's leaving. She's leaving before I pick her up. Um, look at look at Kevin. He's so cute. We got a new cat tree. It's got a little hammock in it. Anyway. So for four weeks now I've been learning. I have been going through my psyche. <laughs> I have made changes and I had lost five pounds. I have now lost three pounds, but that's, this is fine. This isn't about weight 
this isn't about the scale per se. I've said that from day one. This is a life transformation. I'm transforming my life from stagnation to vibrancy. That's important to me. My heart wants that. It's Leo season. We're following our heart. We're asking our heart what we want. That's what God kind of has laid out for us at this time of the year to really focus on what your heart wants and let go of the things that it doesn't and work through the fears that are blocking you from getting there. Especially this year, fears are big. Heart fears are big right now. Them coming up and being triggered and us getting to clear them. So I've been doing this 40 days of self-love program, and that's a lot of what the stuff we've been working on is really getting down to what does your heart really want? Not what your mind wants, not what you think is possible, not what people have told you you should want. What do you really want from this life? So I've been working this program a lot, and I have come to the conclusion that what I really want is I want to be married again to a soulmate, passionate, romantic, everlasting love type relationship. I want this very much. I also want to turn this vlog into something that's super popular, super fun, a source of inspiration. I, I want to start giving back. I want to, I want to encourage and inspire everybody who watches this, everybody who comes here and gives me their time. I want to give something back. So those are my main things that I'm coming to with my heart. What does my heart really want? Especially like outside of what I currently have. So four weeks, I've been kind of, oh, Kevin. <laughs> four weeks, I've been kind of at this playing around a little bit. It's not that I haven't taken it seriously, but what I have discovered are all the obstacles. I have discovered all the ways that my life isn't supporting this. I'm having to work really hard to break through things. And that's good. I mean, that's good stuff to know. And I have that information. But last night, I was supposed to go to Magic Kingdom today. And last night in meditation, it really came through to me that I need to draw a hard line in the sand and make this shift. This is the week to do it. So I've been wanting to do, well, I shouldn't even say wanting to, about well, right around the time this all got started, my guides really brought to me the idea of doing the four-week gut protocol, which is a program by Autumn Calabrese on body. And I was aware of it. It's been out for about a year and I was aware of it. I don't feel like I have gut problems. I, I Not that I notice. I don't, I don't get a lot of indigestion or, you know, bloating, anything like that. I don't, I don't feel like I struggle from any of this. I noticed a few things over the last four weeks since I was paying more attention to my food, but it's not very life inconvenient to me. It's not something that, that really matters, but gut health, what I'm learning is about way more than the digestive process. Uh, your gut health fuels your mood. It's where your serotonin is a lot of, most of your serotonin is produced. It uh, controls it's, it's constantly talking to your body. It, it controls your weight loss. It controls, you know, your insulin spikes and things of that nature. It, it, it's, it's, I'm not sitting here claiming to tell you that I understand it all, but I am realizing that the gut is like this major control center for your whole body. And so, yeah, taking care of it better is probably a really good idea. So that being said, These are my supplements for the next four weeks. It's a it's a prebiotic and a probiotic. I think that's the way that goes. Yeah, it's not just the supplements, but I went ahead and bought them too. It's so I'm gonna start taking the supplements today. It's also a nutrition program and an exercise program. So I'm gonna be working those as well. The biggest aspect of the nutrition program for me is you remove six yeah. foods from your diet. Three of them I'm a little sad about. <laughs> it, one, alcohol. I rarely drink alcohol, so that's not going to be a big deal. Overly processed soy. I don't do that. That's like your impossible burgers and all of those things. I don't do those anyway, so that's not going to be missed. Uh, the things that might be missed, corn. I do like corn. Gluten. All I can think of is bread, pasta. Uh, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. How to do gluten free and dairy. Was that six? Alcohol. Oh, artificial sweeteners. Alcohol. Art. 
It's a counting program. Alcohol, <laughs> artificial sweeteners, overly processed soy, gluten, dairy, and corn. Woo, I got it. Six things out from today. We've been here, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. We're over at the Dolphins. It's not too bad today. The humidity is kind of the saving grace. And we have a little bit of a breeze. So I don't think today is going to kill me the way Epcot did. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> Okay, how I've decided to do this is to just jump right in. No morning routine. <laughs> I need to get a workout in, so I'm gonna do that. I also know that I have to take these uh, supplements 30 minutes before I eat. So I figure the workout is 30 minutes. I will take a supplement, I will do the workout, and I will eat. So that is the plan. I'm going to take the Revitalize supplement. I hope these pills aren't too big. I'm not good with pills. Oh. We'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna take the Revitalize now and then I've gotta take, I only take one of these a day and I take six of the others, so two before each meal. So that's how that's all gonna work out. And I'm gonna do that I'm gonna drink some water and I'm gonna do this workout. The first day is called pull. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. <laughs> um, so that's, that's where we are, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so the workout was humiliating. I don't mean on a, like, oh, people saw me and I'm embarrassed. I mean, you know, it's one thing to go out to Disney and get your 10,000 steps in and feel dead and all of that. But a workout is a different thing. It's a different animal altogether. And I couldn't do it. I probably did half of it. Like, they were, like, I think there were three or four sections of, like, three exercises each. And I probably did two rounds or two reps or whatever of each one instead of the three. I was moving really slow. My knees hurt. I've got issues with my legs. I Again, another thing that I just have to be honest about. I have issues with my legs. My knees, my Achilles tendon... 
my hamstrings, my calves. I pull muscles in them all the time just walking. Now, again, under the heading of being honest, I would imagine part of it is just, you know, they're having to carry a lot of weight that they shouldn't be. Because it's not like I do anything to them. You know, it's just walking. So, I need to strengthen this vessel, this body. I need to strengthen this body up. Which means I don't get to run and hide right now like I want to. Tomorrow is leg day. And I'm already going like, well, I can't do that. I should just skip it. I am going to muddle through the best I can. I listen to my body as I'm working out. If anything feels like it's strained or tired, I stop. I just, I stop. I appreciate the core work because my core is, it, from all the sitting from the pandemic, my core is, is nothing. So I appreciate all the core work. I like squats. I really do as an exercise. I like squats and I like the strength that I get from that. So that I've got those two things going for me. Squats and core. And I will muddle through the rest. I am not giving up. I really want to right now. I really want to, but I'm not going to give up. It, this was this sucked but this was day one you know this was day one tomorrow will be better and the next day and the next day and when this program is done in four weeks maybe I'll be able to do the whole thing all right I'm putting this not fail because I didn't quit behind me you gotta watch your languaging you know you gotta watch how you talk to yourself self-love 40 days of self-love, it's teaching me a lot. This was not a fail because I did not quit. I did not quit. I went all the way to the end. I didn't do everything, but I participated to the end of the video. So it was not a fail. It just was a hot mess. I got work to do. Tomorrow is another day. I got to watch food for the rest of the day and take the rest of my supplements and drink my water. One day at a time. Tomorrow, SeaWorld. Yay! I'm excited for that. Oh, I don't have to do leg day tomorrow because I'm going to SeaWorld. Yay! What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers We're trying to keep today's adventure very tight. We've been here for two hours and we've done about 2,500 steps which is half of what I'm comfortable with steps wise but time wise I'm starting to feel like I should leave because if I leave now, I won't be dead. And not dead is my goal today. So, two hours, we saw dolphins, we saw manatees. We watched Manta the Ride, which is, I mean, so fun. And went in an aquarium. It's not a bad day. If I ever mentioned that I love sloths, I'm a definitely need that. I need this too, just for the record. Okay, bad choice. <laughs> we stopped to sit for a minute outside the Voyager Smokehouse, which is my favorite place to eat here with brisket and macaroni and cheese and oh gosh, what even else, fries, the whole bit. We're not eating here today. I'm not, I'm trying to just eat from the house this week because I really want to get settled in the eating before I try to navigate the parks. But boy, the smell, oh my gosh, it's so good. But no, we're leaving here. We're actually going to Taco Bell to pick up some stuff for my kid, and then I might go by Fresh Kitchen and get another bowl. We'll see. I don't have a definitive plan, which is a mistake. I admit it. 
a mistake. <laughs> Especially when you're sitting here smelling the smokehouse. and out. It's 11.47 and we're headed to Taco Bell and then home. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be focused on what I eat the whole rest of the day. But we got in about 3,000 steps and we got out into the world. So we're calling this a win. The hardest part was the checkout to the parking lot, to be honest. Oh my god. It is so hot. There's no reprieve. And it's not that short of a walk either. Oh gosh. All right, getting in the car now to die. Oh no. I parked her half of the car in the sun. Look. Shade. Sun. See the car that says 111 on my side of the car? That 111 degrees on my side of the car. Her side of the car is probably only 110. Hi, it's coming. It can't be 110 when I'm in the sun. Look, totally in the sun. gave Bob Iger a really hard time. I don't like Bob Iger, but people gave him a really hard time for that whole it's hot thing. And it's always hot in Florida, Bob. No, this is different. And I do think that he's right. I was saying that before he said it. I think that the pass holders aren't showing up this summer um, is one of the big things. We don't want to go outside. <laughs> you know, we didn't spend a bunch of money to come to Florida for a week. We live here. It, it, Disney will be here in the fall. It will be here in the winter. Nobody wants to go out there and feels like 115 degrees. That's just craziness. We are at the Taco Bell. We are waiting for the order to be ready. Uh, for my kids. I decided I was going to get the Power Bowl without the cheese, without the ranch sauce, because that would fit to the program, but I've decided, you know, Taco Bell's not good quality food. I want to power my body with good quality food, so I'm going to go home. I'm going to get some uh, apples and chicken like I usually do in the morning, which I probably should have had before I left the house. Lessons learned, all of that. And then later this afternoon, I might order another bowl from Fresh Kitchen, because I've given myself permission to lean on that a lot this week while I'm getting going. So that's my plan right now. Fresh kitchen, order out, get it delivered, and way better quality food than what would be at Taco Bell. So I think I'm doing good. Whew, nighttime, just got back from the pool. Woo! <laughs> I have an extra light in my room. It's still really dark. There, you can kind of see me. Anyway, this won't be long. Just got back from the pool. Florida in summer is not fun. That pool water must have been every bit of 90 degrees. It was not enjoyable. It was not refreshing. Came home to find out our air conditioning's broken. And we have this for the night. <laughs> So, it's keeping my room cool, it's not keeping the house cool. God help us, they'll be back tomorrow to look at the unit because something's wrong with it and the two guys that looked at it, like, apparently didn't even recognize how the system, our system was set up, it's not the same as all the other built, the rest of the apartments in the building or something. I don't know. Point is, long night, no AC. Other than that, still doing okay on food. I'm sticking to the plan. I'm remembering to take the probiotics and the prebiotics. Today's the first day, actually, that I've hit all of them so far. I still have one more meal and a shake to eat tonight, and it's late, so I don't know if I'll get them squeezed in or not. But anyway, that's your update. I'm down two pounds, so there's that too. <laughs> that's the update. Think of us here in Florida with no air conditioning. Send help. <laughs> going off.
off since like seven o'clock this morning. Nobody can fix it. Did they fix it? They did not fix it. <gasps> Today, it is 526 as we are leaving the house. And I'm trying not to trip going down the stairs. <laughs> anyway, 526, feels like 101. It's very cloudy, feels like rain. In fact, I can feel the rain right now, although it's not supposed to rain, so. <laughs> We're headed to Disney Springs. We're gonna go see music. I think Dracy is playing tonight. I think Nicholas Marks is playing tonight. And I think Kaya might be playing tonight. I don't know. It's partially a surprise. <laughs> and we're going to grab some food and have a really good time. Hopefully, no rain. <laughs> raining here a little bit uh, very lightly though and it's supposed to clear out by 7 so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go sit on the patio at deluxe and grab something to eat I haven't been there in a long time I don't know if they have like chicken sandwiches or salads or something that might be a little bit healthier for me than a burger and onion rings <laughs> but we'll see how that goes and hopefully we'll still get some music tonight One nice thing about the rain is it does clear out the crowds, which can't complain about that.
absolutely no idea what day this is. Like, it's Thursday. August 11th? I think. Um, it's been a hell of a week. <laughs> if you haven't seen my other videos, I'm Claire Audience, so I hear the spiritual realm. So my meditations tend to be very conversational. Uh, I talk to angels and Jesus and and whatnot and you know that's how I live my life by the the, the direction and the, the input I get from my spiritual life so I had this meditation and you know I had one guide in particular just really saying to me you're playing games you're playing around and it's like you've learned a lot of stuff but you've been doing this for four weeks now you're supposed to do the four week gut protocol you haven't even started you could have been done what are you going to do? You have to make a decision here. You have to stop playing games and taking it lightly. Are you all in or are you not? Because with the amount of weight you want to lose and with the amount you want to change your life, throwing pennies in the pond isn't going to get you there. And that was hard to hear. I will be honest with you. But I took it to heart because I always do. And the very next day, I started the gut protocol. Like, legitimately seriously started the, the gut protocol and it's been a mess ever since <laughs> it's just <sighs> there's always waves when you start something new and this was kind of drastic and I feel like both Amy and Ari got a little freaked out too because all of a sudden I was doing a huge shift and my poor sister she's like she was feeling left out because she wants to lose weight too and she's feeling like I was moving on without her which it, interestingly enough, triggered some emotional issues from our childhood that we were able to work through. And I, that was actually pretty cool. Anyway, not the point of the vlog. It's, it, it was a very difficult week getting started and, but I did it. I, I like, I went cold turkey on soda. I went cold turkey on fast food. I went cold turkey on gluten, dairy, corn, uh, artificial sweeteners, there's something else in there. I've done that and I've completely changed my eating. I am still ordering out, but I'm ordering from Fresh Kitchen, which is a place that does like um, sweet potato noodles, which are really good. They do cauliflower mashed potato. They do avocado rice. Then they do uh, grass fed chicken and, and beef. And then they have, oh, they have these amazing kale pesto tomatoes. I'm sitting here like drooling over tomatoes. That's weird. But anyway. So I've been ordering kind of as my crutch to get off of ordering McDonald's or ordering whatever. I've been ordering from Fresh Kitchen. So I've been having that bowl every day. And Amy, God love her. She really has risen to this insanity that I've brought to her because she really runs the kitchen. I've, we've talked about that a little bit in the past because she's got it, it really, a really, there, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in this apartment. She's got a very tight system in that kitchen. And she has been in the kitchen because she's like, I want to do it too. So all three of us are going to do this and we're going to do this together. And my friend Kim is in on it too. We, we opened up a little Facebook group for ourselves and we're just uh, back and forth with, with getting this done. And Amy's been in the kitchen experimenting with foods. She's made an amazing like literally, I mean, I, we haven't gone vegan, but you know, we are leaning more plant-based. She's got a, a, an amazing, um, vegan cheese sauce that she's been making and she's had a, a lentil pasta dish that we had and, and, and chicken and she's she helped change up the morning bowls right now so that they don't have uh, cheese in them anymore. I, I mean, she's been amazing, but it's also stressful. And then there was a lot going on and there was there's been issues here and there and fights have broken out <laughs> and um, drama. And then yesterday, we thought we were kind of getting there. You know, we're having, I think the day before we was the first day we actually got like, like two or three meals in. I, I ordered the bowl. My sister and I split the bowl and then we had enough left for, um, the next morning even. And we even got our Shakeology in that day. It was good. It was good. It was like, oh, it's like, okay. And, and the headaches were gone from the lack of caffeine. <laughs> you know, we were moving, we were moving. It was good. And then yesterday, oh my God, our air conditioning broke. I mean, 
I don't know. I know it's hot across the country this morning at 11 a.m. here in across the street from Disney where I am. It the feels like it was 107. You know, we're getting up to a feels like of about 115. I have a very dear friend who lives in the desert, so I know she's dying out there. It's way worse. I'm not trying to be like, all, oh, we're the hottest place on the planet. But it's just hottest summer I think I've ever lived through in my life. I think this is it. So the air conditioning broke. <laughs> so Ari and I decide, well, we'll go to the pool to stay cool. Poor Amy had to stay behind and wait for maintenance, but Ari and I went to the pool. The pool water was so hot, it was like, mm, no, I don't think I want to get in the pool. So that didn't help. Uh, they couldn't fix the air conditioning. They broke it worse. They tried to put a, a, a window unit in to keep us cool overnight till they could come back the next day. I guess this wasn't yesterday. It was two days ago. But anyway, uh, to come back the next day, they broke my bed frame trying to get the thing in the window because my bed is up against the window <laughs> and then the next morning okay so then we think okay well that's the worst of it and then the next morning and this was yesterday the next morning we were all awakened at eight something in the morning with all the smoke detectors going off and they continued to go off for you know minutes at a time off and on all day long and they couldn't fix it they couldn't figure out what was wrong <laughs> Amy and I think it was just because it was so damn hot in the house. Honestly, we think it was just because it was so freaking hot in this house yesterday. We were setting off the smoke detectors. So then they thought they, they, here's the thing. They came and they supposedly fixed the air conditioning, but the maintenance guy told us, uh, I didn't know there was an original problem because the guy yesterday told me when he got here, it was running and cooling the apartment. <laughs> what? No, it wasn't. The air conditioning ran for four hours yesterday. We couldn't get the apartment down under 80 degrees. So they're coming back today to see if maybe they need to change out the motor or the capacitor. I think the fan just isn't blowing hard enough, to be honest with you, because the thing is cold and the air is coming out, kind of, but it's not coming out very strong. It's not even getting to the kids' room, which is the master bedroom on the other side of the apartment from the unit. Anyway, I'm way off on a on a rabbit trail, but I'm just saying, it's, it's been a rough week. Y'all, it's been a rough week. And I mean, I get it. There's way worse out there in the world, but just emotionally, very frayed and very, very frayed. So today is the day that I feel it in me. I could break. I've only been doing this for four days and I've made my breaking point. But... I just have to be stronger than I, I mean, I, I get it. I'm hungry because, you know, we haven't been eating enough because we're trying to figure out what the new food looks like. So we haven't been eating enough. So I'm hungry. I woke up hungry and that doesn't usually happen. So I woke up hungry. I, uh, am emotionally, I'm just like one raw nerve right now. Um, mostly from the fire alarms yesterday, I'll be honest. And having so many people in and out of the house and I was trying to, the kittens were freaked and, they did pretty good, but I was, you know, I'm, oh, I was so worried about them and, and all of this stuff. So I'm a raw nerve today and I haven't done any work all week, which I'm a workaholic. I need to do work. I need to be working on something. I haven't done any work. And then I started stressing out about the budget because not only have I not done any work, which means I'm not getting paid this week. Uh, we, the air conditioning, when they fixed it yesterday, it, it had to run like nonstop just to get it down to 80. It never turned off. And then the, the, the unit they put in the window was running nonstop for 24 hours. I'm terrified at what our power bill is going to look like next month. It could sink us. So I'm stressed. I'm a raw nerve. And a cheeseburger sounds really, really good. And, and Pepsi, you know, I just, I want to go back to my old stuff. I won't, and I'm not going to, but that's where I'm at right now. I really, this is the day I can feel it. I, or one, you know, one of the days I'm sure there'll be more, but this is, this is a day that I could easily break and go back to old patterns, but recognizing that and determining not to do that, I think will help me. I'm just going to have to get through the day without a Pepsi and without a cheeseburger. I do get, and I am sensitive to the fact that people have real problems going on out there and this isn't really one of them. But for me, because this is my life transformation, it's a big deal to me, you know? So 
that was the thing in meditation this morning. It was just determining again, you know, this, I have to look at the big picture. The life I want is more than one day, you know? And in the past, I mean, this is the perfect excuse to order. Let's order five guys for crying out loud. This it comfort food ourselves into oblivion because all of us are a little afraid after yesterday. I mean, Ari was at work, so she missed the brunt of it, but also she's exhausted from work. She's actually at work again today though, but I'm just saying it's, it is the perfect conjunction of things to cave and go back, but we're not going to do that. And I told Amy that so she would know where I was at so that, you know, we, we've all made the commitment to tell one another when we're nearing a breaking point so that we can pull each other back. So I told Amy, that's where I'm at. And like I said, I'm looking at the big picture. I'm looking at the travel I want to do. I'm looking at the man I want to meet. And I'm looking at the commitment I've made to my friends, you know, to Kim and to Amy and to Ari. And the commitment I've made to myself and the commitment I've made with my guide, I've made a lot of commitments here. Those matter to me. My integrity matters to me. Sorry. And way more than a cheeseburger matters to me. So there's no way I'm going back. I'm going to stick, stick to it and keep going forward. And get through this day. And, and that makes me happy. Wait, so I've only been doing the, the four week gut protocol for four days, but in the four days, I'm down three pounds because I was up to, I was up at 316, 316, four, maybe I can't, I can't remember. I don't always remember the points, but right now this morning I was 313, six. So I am down back the two pounds plus another pound. So on the whole, that puts me down. Well, it puts me down seven pounds from the heaviest, but probably about five pounds since I started this. Is that right? 13, 14. Yeah, five pounds. I thought it was five pounds the other day. That's why I'm like, really? This shouldn't this be six pounds? Anyway, it doesn't matter because new start. I'm doing the four week gut protocol. I'm staying focused on food. I'm changing everything food wise and I'm being hardcore about it. Once I get a good handle on it, once I get past this beginning part of like, ah, I'm scared to do anything with food, then I'm going to start um, bringing back in little things like out at the parks if I want to get a Dole Whip or if I want to get um, a cheeseburger even sometimes. It's okay to do that. I just need to make sure that, you know, I'm walking the balance beam properly, at least until I lose the weight. And then we'll figure out what maintaining the weight looks like. But that's going to be a waste down the road. So anyway, I'm done. I'm going to go see if I can put together a vlog out of all of this. All that being said, stay tuned to the next vlog because we are starting to get our act in gear here. <laughs> we uh, should be at Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and maybe we're going to go to Typhoon Lagoon for the very first time. It's wet there. I don't know how much I can actually film, but... That's in the plans, plus more food, more weight loss, more everything. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you for being here. And red line. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future right by two of my favorite spots.